we are still moving with uh, from two on with it from two chapters we are now we want to deal with the uh, linear inequalities so area in form two it will what would like to shed some light on uh, to give the assistance we can you know we can offer i know most students sometimes you find that you were taught these things but over the time these things have just been forgotten so we are here to remind you it's our pleasure to remind you and be, and be of help to you even as you prepare to, to you know to meet your exams to do your exams now these things once reminded shall be of great importance now in this area i'll just i've just picked some of the uh issues that have the problems that i know could uh, uh, pose a challenge to students so in my first example i've picked up uh, this problem solve the linear inequality below and illustrate your solution on a number line you are required to solve this kind of a problem now when you are given such a challenge or such a problem what do you do how do you solve it so we begin so the first thing you need to do is that you pick the inequality you solve it piecewise so you solve this part up to there first and then uh, you solve this upper part what do I mean? You shall first pick 3x plus 7 is greater or equals to 25. This is a sign from greater or equals to. Fine. From there, what can we say? You can take 7 the other side. We shall say 3x less or equals to 25 minus 7. You can say 3x is less or equals to. 18 divided by 3, divide both sides by 3, 3 1 by 3 1. So we shall have x less or equals to positive 6. You notice that, and we divided by a negative 3. If you divide by a negative or multiply this by a negative, the inequality changes. From being great, uh, less than or equals to to greater than or equals to. So if this one had been a negative 3, we would have now the inequality in this form. Okay? But because it is a positive, the inequality remains as, as it were. Right? So now, after having picked this up to this point, we have got this value. So the next bit now is now to pick the now upper part. Okay? From here all the way. So we shall have 25 is less or equals to 2x plus 15. So bring this 15 this side, shall be 25 minus 15 is less or equals to 2x. What we have here? 10 is less or equals to 2x. So we have uh, 10 less or equals to uh, 2x divided by 2 both sides so you are dividing by a positive number so that does not affect the inequality in any way so you have by 2 is 1 by 2 is x by 2 is 1 by 2 is 5 so we have 5 is less or equals to x so 5 is less or equals to x and you know that x is less than 6 so we can now bring this uh, this inequality and this one and they combine them all right so we have the other one is x is less or equals to six now this is five less or equals to six and the x is less or equals to uh, so five is less or equals to x x is, a lot, is less or equals to six so the answer shall be five less or equals to x less or equals to six right now this is our answer now we need to represent this one in a number line. So in a number line, we shall know that if this is zero, we have one, two, three, four, say five, six, say seven. So that proceeds this way. And this one could be negative one. So to represent this one in a number line, we have to go to number five. 
position number five. There, here it is. Okay. Because we have a less or equal sign, we shade it. We shade it. For zeta, five is less than x. We would left it, we'd have left it unshaded. Then the other one is six. So we go to six, we circle six. Now because it is uh, x is less or equal to is less or equals to we shade it. Had it been just less than we would have left it unshaded. And so you now join this part in that man. So that is six, that is five. So this one is this solution represented on the number line. So that is how you represent the solution on the number line. So one most important thing for us to know is combine this one and then combine the other one. So